hoy malapit na graduation namin. Eh di hoy ko grats. Stel, ah, nag-send ka ng stars na tatlo. Ayaw ako ng tatlo kasi sa pinay ko kasi kailangan ko din eh. Kasi pumunta ako doon, kumbaga para ipakita ko ng steam ko. Pero yun talaga pa rin yung napapansin ng mga tao. A lot of people dream about the perfect lifestyle has, full of love, talent, and people who support him unconditionally. Stell's life seems flawless but behind it is a different reality. For years, Stell's talent seems to have been ignored and some haters even resort to seeing him as the group's visual hole. So in today's video, it's his time to shine because he obviously and rightfully so, deserves it. What? Stelvester Ajero's adventure started in Las Piñas City, Philippines. Aside from singing, Stel's parents also loved watching classic Hollywood action movies so he was named after Sylvester Stallone. He's the eldest child among three siblings. Stel has been dancing ever since he was a kid because his parents used to ask him to dance in front of their relatives at family gatherings. Stel grew up as a happy and playful kid. In fact, he was very good in children's games such as Habulantaya, Tagu-Taguan, Takyan, and even basketball. There was a time when he was playing basketball with Ivan, his younger brother, and he did a nasty crossover that sent his brother disoriented into a parked car giving him a big lump on his forehead. And you might not believe this, but Stell has a grandma who can see ghosts and even revealed that she used to see a headless child figure in their restroom. There was also an instance when Stell got possessed by a paranormal entity which led to him having a fear of ghosts since then. Stell had his high school days at St. Mark's Institute and he was very active as a student. He had multiple extracurricular activities like joining the school choir as the only male soprano and also joining the dance sports club performing ballroom dance and even Filipino folk dance which explains why he performs Tinikle so effortlessly. In his second year, he joined a hip-hop dance club called Campus Image Revolt and this was when he started winning. They won the Skechers Street Dance Battle Year 3 and also became a finalist the next year after. This was Stell at 13 years old. And he was already this good? Sheesh! After high school, he studied college in STI Makati for a degree in hotel and restaurant management. This was when he enhanced his talent in cooking and baking. Yup, he can do that too. As expected, he kept dancing in college. Some of his crewmates from Las Piñas even followed him there. Just check out this cool tryout clip. Some people had no idea how good Stell already was. I think he was with Jello of Yara here if I'm not mistaken. People were teasing him at first but when they started dancing, they went speechless. See for yourself. Yo, Stel can even break dance? Sheesh, guys! <laughs> After that, he went on to become a part of STI Makati's dance image and won the national championship in 2011. And you know what's crazy? He did all that while working at McDonald's and teaching dance to kids with special needs which is a clear testament of Stell's sincere love and patience for kids. But with many great deeds comes a heavy price. Stell's body took a toll as he had been overworking himself resulting in nearly developing acute pulmonary edema. Almost all of his extra money he made went straight to his hospital bills. 
Stell had to stop everything he was doing in order to recover and his aunt offered to fly him to Japan to become a babysitter for his younger relatives. He stayed there for six months, which explains why he can speak Nihongo. This brings us to another crazy story. Stell's aunt had a rich Japanese friend who took a liking to Stell's overall personality and attempted to arrange a marriage with him. This friend had big businesses and was already set up for life. So if Stell said yes, it would have been a good decision. But instead, Stell said no and chose to go back to the Philippines instead to chase his dreams. He met his former crewmates again and then later formed Seiyan. Because of their experience and winning mentality, they immediately found success by winning multiple local dance competitions. They competed in every dance contest they knew and won most of them. And because of that, they started gaining fans. And one of those fans was Josh. It's actually quite obvious just looking at his past tweets. Stell's performances sparked Josh's passion for dancing so he started training himself and eventually was taken under Stell's wings. Josh was technically older than Stell but he saw him as his big bro because he knew for a fact that there's a lot to learn from him. Fast forward to late 2013, they became official co-members and went on to win multiple international titles. One of their biggest breaks was at K-pop festival in Incheon in 2014. Their whole stay and the competition itself was televised and I'm telling you, there were moments that straight up just proved how much of a monster Stell already was. One part of the show was the mentoring session where renowned Korean choreographers would judge their dance routine. And Stell's group was the only one that impressed them. It gets crazier when they play the dance relay game with the K-pop group Fiesta. Do you know what Stell did? He single-handedly and accurately danced each random K-pop song that were given to him. Just take a look at their reaction. They couldn't believe it. We pretty much witnessed his visual, auditory, and kinesthetic memory being already on a different level even at the earlier stages of his career. Fast forward to the final show, Stell and Josh killed it and won it all. Stell was asked what his dream was and here's what he said. My dream is to dance with my favorite idol, Bangtan Sonyeondan. Later that night, that dream came true. It's so crazy how powerful a person's will could be to the point that he can make things happen. So after that, Seon kept competing locally and eventually crossed paths with the other would-be SB19 members. Not as friends, but as competitors. Shobi T then held an audition which led to forming the greatest P-pop group ever assembled in the history of Filipino music. Their start was not smooth sailing. In fact, there was a point when all of the other members quit and it was only Stell who remained. He kept training despite what happened and Justin joined him from time to time while studying. This went on for weeks until the other members decided to come back. If you want to know more about their story as a group, check out the SB19 story series I made. Link down in the description. You can also join the highest tier membership of the channel because not only you are credited as an executive producer, but you're also helping the channel and producing stories that deserve to be heard, just like SB19 stories for example. So having all those positive things said about Stell, why does he still have haters? What is it that people don't understand about him? For me, it's simple. They're just jealous. Whoa!
These people choose not to attack him on his talent because they're obviously no match against it. Just take a look at this clip. So instead, they attack him on his physical appearance. I'll be honest, only Joe Kentian have passable visuals. Most casual viewers would react the same way too. I'd suggest plastic surgery. Why not? It's 2020. Stell couldn't help but respond to it. And his reply broke my heart. Hello, I'll also be honest. I know I'm not handsome, I admit it. But as I've always said, I'm here to show my talent. If I didn't pass in your eyes, it's okay as long as my teacher passed me. Good morning and have a nice day. The comment of the fan didn't make sense at all. I mean, is this not passable for her? Come on, man. Not only is Tell beautiful outside but also in the inside. He even inspires every people around him and Josh is the living proof of that. Hi, Steph. Happy birthday. Uh, honestly, hindi ko alam saan mag-start. Pero, uh, nakita ko, nakita ko lahat ng paghihirap ko ever since from the start. Uh, simula na nakita kita, ina-idolize na kita, ikaw yung nagbigay sa akin ng inspiration para maging performer. Kasi, kung wala namang sa'yo, walang style, di ba? Hindi ako makakarating dito kung nasaan ako ngayon. Nung una ko kayo nakita, super gaming talaga ako tulad ng paulit ulit ko sinasabi at hanggang ngayon ikaw pa rin yung inaayot na yes ko piling ko yung talent ko talaga pang work class talaga walang walang ano ba wala ang hinap sa pino work pero talagang alam mo yun hindi hindi basta basta mapapantayan Al alam ko tiwala ako sa'yo kaya nga kahit saan I mean ba? kahit anong Kahit anong klase ng performances, alam mo, kaya natin, kaya mo. Dahil, ganun ako kaniwala sa mo. Ngayon, uh, I hope you enjoy your day. Uh, sana, matupad pa natin yung mga pangarap natin. Marami pa tayong pagdadaanan at marami tayong pinagdadaanan as of now. Pero, alam ko na pagsama-sama tayo, nagiging okay din lahat, makakaya na natin lahat. Ngayon, still, happy birthday. Uh, wishing you all the best. You deserve all the love. At this point, you probably already realized that Stell is an ultimate husband. Imagine yourself waking up in the morning with him serving breakfast. Breakfast made by a man who can cook and bake. Someone who can sing you to sleep using his heavenly voice or take you on the dance floor. A guy who can teach you how to break dance or conduct voice lessons for you. An actor, a choreographer, a singer, a rapper, a natural comedian. Someone who can easily do them impromptu. Yes, I mean freestyle. A God-fearing person and a philanthropist. Sometimes it makes me think. Stel must have been outside when God summoned the rain that grants unlimited talent because that's exactly how most people would describe him. But you know what? I actually don't believe that. Because of his story, I learned that Stel worked hard for everything he has achieved today. There was a point in the story when he was already a winner and all he gotta do was to get married. But instead, he decided to love himself enough to want better. Decide better, seek better, and move in the direction of something better. He decided to ask himself, what is the next level of me? Am I done evolving? The things he accomplished were already in the past. They were over. He realized that he can't get points today for the things he's done yesterday. He started living while making a statement every day. He wanted to become the things that he sees. 
He had problems with his education, but he never complained and instead put in the work. He became selfless. He's now living his life with a sense of purpose and he wants to make a difference in everybody's life and everybody he comes in contact with. Simply put, he refuses to be another man who lives his life with no significance. This brings us to his favorite praise. Be your own reason to smile.